Welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester, with the Niskul. We're gonna make our way to the most infamous level in the game Rusty Bucket Bay. Rusty Bucket Bay, it is. Oh, cool. I haven't seen this level. Yeah, it's hard. It's, it's really hard. Like, difficult? D hard? D difficult, hard. Oh, I don't want difficulty in my game. Hey, look at that old rare logo. That, that, that is so I, old. I, 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 gu I guarantee there's nothing hidden behind that. Uh-huh. I mean, it's so old, it still looks like a roll of toilet paper. Uh, like, I don't know if they couldn't edit that, or they just forgot to change it to the new rare logo, because most everything else has the new rare logo. They scrubbed everything else out, but this- They this, do, don't they? Yeah, this old one, they, they just had to keep. I, I'm guessing they couldn't- they couldn't change it or whatever. But it holds a water switch! Oh! Donk! <laughs> Honestly, I think that's just for... for history's sake. Like, you got the old logo in there, we don't have to change it if we don't have to. Well, yeah, it just depends on who you ask, I guess. Oh, we, we uh, linked the greenish-blue teal cauldrons. So we got that. And then we gotta actually open the level. I don't like that face. Oh, he, he can't bother you. Yeah, I'm just gonna get ya! That's how Grandilta sees us. That's lovely. Go into a vent and there's an entire house full of bees. God, she really needs an exterminator. That would have made Die Hard a lot more scary. <laughs> oh god, just crawling through the air vents and just hearing... <laughs> make, John, <laughs> make it worse for John McClane. The thing is, he doesn't like swat the bees away, he just steps on them all. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's the place that opens up a uh, Mad Monster Mansion. Haven't we already been there, though? We have. Oh. Which means that uh, we did not need to go this way. You fool! Come here looking for oh, banjo yeah. expert tips and not getting them. We gotta go this way! Oh. Cause here's where Rusty Bucket Bay oh, is. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And just, uh, throw them all on there and, uh, God. Oh, it's just a big ship? It's a big old ship. Well, that's kind of boring. Oh, it's more than that, me bucko. It's more than boring? It's- it is more than boring. It's also more than just a ship. Oh, okay. Like, like are we gonna have to see the dock mates? Are we gonna have to go on somebody else's boat to get to the bigger boat? It's just the one boat, but it's like a- it's- it's an entire harbor, basically. Oh. Yeah. Welcome to Rusty Bucket Bay. Uh, yeah, this is this is the uh, most difficult level in the game, as I mentioned. Uh, you see the water down there? It's deadly. It is not deadly, what? but it will make you lose air twice as fast, even if you are not submerged in water, because it is mostly oil. Ew! Yeah. Ew! I got a problem with this level because I, I lose my way a lot. <laughs> There's Excellent. A, there's a lot of hidden compartments, and it's hard to tell, you know. But uh, dude, come on, I, I, dude, I, come on. I, I just get, just get. I, I, I got, dude, it. dude, I got it. dude, I got it, dude. It's a dude. dude. There's a goddamn dude. pipe in the way. You see it? Ah, there we go. I put that there intentionally. <laughs> Surprisingly, that's a. Ah. <laughs> okay, the explosion is definitely a Microsoft edition. <laughs> What, it was because I didn't play enough Halo, they put a, they put a <laughs> pipe in my way? You know, all those Halo minutes adding up. This is why I'm having you play through- Why I had to play through Halo 1. No. It's just so when you got to- Actually, technically, this is still a my Xbox, Gah. so, uh... You know, all those Halo minutes aren't adding up to anything. Uh, there we go. And I think little gremlins inside your Xbox are like, Yeah, you stupid UDJ. This is because you don't use Cortana on your on your, win on your Windows computer. <laughs> it's not against you! I don't even use uh, Google Assistant or Siri, either! What can I help you with? Nothing! Go away! Can you not hurt me in Banjo-Kazooie? Oh, sorry, no. <laughs> the, the Microsoft Overlord said no. Did you say, remove all life from Banjo-Kazooie? I died! No, 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 it's okay. And it's... then, pow! Nuts and bolts! Ah! So, uh, Rusty Bucket Bay is the ship we are on. Mm-hmm. Which, you know, has a... You know... Top side, I guess. It's, it's, it's got a lot going on. Oh, it's so big. But there's also the harbor around the ship. 
Good lord. So, uh, it may, it may seem small, but it's it's bigger than it seems, and maneuvering around isn't as easy as you may think. We're getting to the complexity of Donkey Kong 64. Yeah, we're getting there. It's not as complex as one of those levels because we only have one hero to work with yeah. that kind of makes a difference. Well, I mean, you just like scale. This place is huge. No! no! Oh, what a bunch of bull! So man, I could bust open this door and do something else. <laughs> just walk up to a couple sailors. All right. No! This is the most difficult jiggy in the game by far. First off, here is the uh, empty honeycomb. What the fuck? I didn't even see that. This is the engine room. The oh. No the notorious Lord. engine room. Oh, disgusting. Look how big this thing is. Yep, so we got that. Yeah, it's, that's easy to get through. Huh. Yep, hey. hip, hip, hip. Hey. Okay. We have these fans everywhere. We have these uh, parts that just start rotating stupid fast. Ah! Okay. Mumbo tokens hiding there. We got. Uh, okay, they do, they do. They do slow dig. down. Yeah, and if you fall, you're dead. Oh. Like dead. Just uh, oh. back to the beginning. Ew. Yeah, it's gross. Back on the original N64, there. You would have to get all the notes again. That means all your notes are gone. Ew. So that's usually the first. That's usually the first place you go is you. Uh, you uh, take care of the engine room first, get all the notes there, and then you go for everything else. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh ah! God! When early water in you plunge, you'll lose air while in that gunge. Gunge? What is a gunge? So you need to be out of the water for a while before your air even comes back. Might not seem that bad now, but then later. See, this is why we need Captain Planet in the world of Banjo-Kazooie. Help us, Captain Planet. <laughs> Make this level simple and not that hard! <laughs> why are we suddenly singing like a bard? The power's yours. I feel like Gruntilda would be a Captain Planet villain. <laughs> Uses her hexing magic to just fuck up forests for no reason. Did you ever see any of those Captain Planet ads? Ads? So, there were a couple commercials on Cartoon Network where Captain Planet would be... You know, he'd ask the question to the kids. Hey kids, do you know what what helps save the planet? And then, I, the... I can't remember the name of the rat guy. <laughs> he, he just he just came up and was like, Ah, uh, toxic waste? <laughs> No, you idiot rat guy! Not toxic waste. It was, it was mainly just the the intonation. It's just like, what helps the planet? Mm, toxic waste. <laughs> <laughs> Blow up all the boxes in here. You get an extra life. Right. You're gonna need it. Oh, Gruntilda is a Captain Planet villain. I can see it. <laughs> Gruntilda Gunge. What? Oh. Oh, that's how you get in there. There are just way too many moving parts in this one. I hate this room. Is this a maze? Almost. Ah, there it is. Oh, I forgot we gotta get the Jinjos. Yeah, we got Jinjos too. Still five of them. Uh. Yeah, that's probably a good idea that I stopped, but I was so close to the end, too. You were. But you also have Click Clock Wood to deal with, too, and, uh... That's not exactly an easy one, either. I mean, if it's anything like Donkey Kong 64's forest level, I think I'd be okay. Does Donkey Kong 64's forest level have seasons? You know, I'll get back to you on that. I can't remember. Because that's what- that's the whole shtick. That's why it was so complicated, because... They had four distinct sections of the level to work Ew. with. But we'll get there when we get there. Right now we gotta oh deal with just this, just this maddening, <laughs> uh, awful, terrible... Blech. Blech. You know a level's good when your player goes... Blech. Having the time of my life. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, There's some bile for the soul. Well, what they want you to do is go to a ladder, but if you do it just right, you can kind of just... It, whoa! Run up there and do one of these, and there you go. That was cool! I think 
it was either a task that taught me that or me thinking I could. Maybe a little bit of both. But you can also shoot in eggs to these toll boots and they give you the shittiest goddamn bridges to go across. Yeah, no kidding! Like, ha ha, take that sucker! <laughs> like, oh here, you can pay eight eggs for this toll bridge. That's, you know, slightly thicker, I think. Do these go away? When you die. Okay, good. Which is often. Yep, use that camera. And... Yep. I see you using the power of the Xbox analog yep. sticks. Duh, that's lovely. Yeah, there's two. I don't think we've ever experienced something like this, but do the Jinjos go away when you die? Uh, in the N64 version, they do. Oh, that's so dick! I mean, I know it was a limitation, but come on! They, yeah, it literally couldn't remember if you were collected notes or Jinjos after you leave a level or not. How did we beat games back in the day? <laughs> Dedication time and not doing homework. Nowadays, we don't have any homework to not do, so that's why we're not as good as games. Now we just have jobs. Dick. God, being an adult sucks. Just be a kid forever. All right, I won't drink or drive. <laughs> or be able to own property. Actually, you know, being adult kind of rocks. Except for the parts that suck. No! Oh! Fucking god <laughs> shit on my fucking head! God! God! No! Oh, that's terrible. <sighs> Welcome to the SS Rare bullshit. I don't really have a plan in motion for getting everything in Rusty Bucket Bay. It's just get the things that needs got. All right, this is more my play style. It's like, hey, there's a thing over here. Why don't you go get it? Okay. Oh, that plan backfired. Oh, hey, there's more stuff to get. Let's do that. A plan emerges when there's less stuff to get. Oh, that's that's fine. But they can happen in here. So many openings. This is related to the most difficult jiggy in the game. You gotta hit the switch, right? Which slows these down, so make it easier to go through there. So, next time we go back to the engine room, we can manage with these uh, blades a lot smoother. See, I'm still getting nightmarish flashbacks from having to swim through fans in Conker's Bad Fur Day. <laughs> it's like, oh hey, your depth perception, uh, perception sucks, you're getting cut in half. Looks like it's your death perception! Haha! -ha. There's a way to cheese this boss, but I'm not gonna do it. Let's just do it for real. Hello there! I'm Boxy! It's Boss Boom Box! Oh. Yeah, just shoot eggs at him. I thought you were knocking his teeth out. <laughs> it's like, then good he, lord! And then he turns into two boxes. Oh my god. And then, and then he turns he into, into four, four boxes. boxes. And then he turns into little mini boxes. And you can cheese it with just using the the invincibility feathers. Okay. Well, it looks like. Oh wait, those are the feathers leaving you. That easy. Look how they thoughtfully gave you all these eggs around the room. That's cute. Do you know who you're dealing with here? <laughs> Please. I'm a superpower gamer. I mean, didn't you see that tip where I was like, you know what? You don't have to get the witch switch just yet. You can just skip it entirely by falling. That's right. Every mistake is just part of the strategy. <laughs> now I can see you in like 90 sunglasses being like, yeah, I'm a superpower <laughs> gamer. I thought you said 90 sunglasses. Like I'm just so cool, so chill. I just put on all 90 pairs. Just <laughs> Hi, so cool. I've got my 90 pairs of sunglasses. I reached the wall right now from all the way back here. <laughs> Check out how cool I am. Oh, I got a pair of sunglasses right here, actually. So I'm just gonna right. be. Yep, rock them. So cool. Dude. So cool. I know none of you can see it, but you can feel it. Do you feel the coolness? Feel how cool this gamer is and how good <laughs> he is at Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> I mean, fuck. He's better than me. I hate being a gamer, actually. <laughs> I like being my own weird subset of gamer. <laughs> you know, the, the, the kind that uh, play visual novels all the time and respect women and shit. <laughs> There's a code on the ship somewhere that you enter here and it works out. You know, you haven't seen the code, but this is it. It's 312111. That's how you make, get a jiggy. Oh, good. 
there's an another another amazing tip from our superpower gamer over here, UDJ. Oh, I gotta put sunglasses the back coolest. on. The coolest. Now, come on, man, I'm UDJ, hyping you up. UDJ pro tip: put in the numbers, into the numbers, and make the thing happen. Win the game. Yo, what's up? Super what's tip. Up? Know what's gonna happen before it even happens, and then BAM! You don't even have to play half the game, you just go in with the code, and you fucking got it, man! Pro tip, go to a long play, <laughs> put it onto your main display, pretend you're playing the game, BAM! You're a master! You know what? Just take the footage from a TAS and put it in there. Special pro tip! I always thought of making a joke like, it's like, oh yeah, I'm the best, and you just... You can do all this crazy stuff. It's like, oh yeah, you can go through the level, no problem. Yeah, it's, it's really easy. But to make sure that you, you know, that you're not cheating, you get an you get an obsoleted task. Oh, like, right, right, right. Not my best run. I could do better nah. though. No, nah, I could totally do better. I could shave off three frames by doing this one thing. How did you know to go into that one? You're just supposed to know. You're just supposed to know. The windows that you can break into also look a little differently. I think they jut out a bit more. They seem like actual objects you can break rather than just part of the texture. I'll take your word for it. That didn't look much different. But it's, that's what you do. Anyway, here is a jiggy up here. You're taking me for a ride, man. Being a pro gamer kind of sucks. I know, right? Rather be a pro gamer than a beginner gamer. Well, I mean, all those beginners, they don't even know what's gonna happen. Because then game companies will treat me like I'm stupid. It's like, make sure you press the A button. Now, the A button is on that little plastic controller you're holding there. Oh. See the one that says A? You hit that one right there. Oh, good job! You've completed lesson one. Lesson two, we're gonna move on to the Y button. Dude, thanks, Balan Wonderworld. You're not. I, I wanted to know how to play a video game. Oh, Balan Wonderworld. You know, I, I think I finally figured out what, what's wrong with that game. Uh, it's garbage. It's more than that. It's it's more than than just that. I mean, it's 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 not just garbage in the fact that it's it's just a bit of it's a bad video game. Nobody's denying that. Mm -hmm. But Yuji Naka, it seemed he really wanted this to work though. He really wanted that game to work. He, I mean, he had all these, he had this, this character design, he had all these, these, these colors, this whole world. It's a, it's a multimedia experience. There's a novelization you're supposed to read in order to figure out what, what's supposed to happen. Correct. But it didn't work. Yeah. And I think there's two reasons. One, it, it's a half-baked idea that should have been left in the Saturn era. Because it feels more like a follow-up to Knights than anything else, and I don't, I don't mean that favorably. Yeah. Second, I think Yuji Naka's just out of touch. Uh, I mean, did you already hear he's after this love? Oh, you're about to die. Yeah, I'm, 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 God I'm damn, damn it. Yeah, oops. Uh, Took too long down Yeah, there. he's retiring after Pell and Wonderworld, and I do not blame him. Yeah, I mean, and not because it's a bad game, because I think he, he did everything he could to make this the best game he possibly could, and the best that he could do was fives and sixes out of ten from the gaming uh, journalistic community at large. Fives and sixes? That's being generous. That game is garbage. Or however, however bad it is, I don't know. Like, oh my god. L a lot of people have been on this, but see, I think, you know... He was, he's known as the creator of Sonic, so he's a great game guy, but he hasn't really designed all that many games. So I think he has all this prowess and all this, this love and attention that he doesn't really know what to do with. I don't think he understands games in the way that somebody like, I don't know, Toby Fox or even Jonathan Blow would. He, so I think he just made a game that he thought was good, but it wasn't as great a game and I don't, don't think it worked out. And so I think this was a sign of saying, you know, maybe it's time to get out. This, this is a medium he no longer understands anymore. Well, it's just like, th there's there's some basics that you kind of learn when designing a game. First of all, it's got to be fun. I bet he thought it was fun. Uh, pressing one button for everything? I that's your idea of fun? I know, that's that, that's the thing. He I bet he really thought that this was like, the, the this is going to be the next big thing. This is going to be the next Mario Odyssey. The Ew. next uh, Yeah, I, I think he really legitimately thought this is going to be a good idea. And then nobody liked his good idea. And they had all these reasons as to why his idea wasn't good. And I think he realized that, oh, okay, I've got nothing more to add then. This was the best I could do. And it was thoroughly rejected. 
Well, I think the other sad thing is it being multimedia and the other part of the media only being available in Japan, I believe. What? That didn't help things. I don't think that... That, that can't be. You doubt? I doubt. I, I do right. doubt. Uh, I got you. I do doubt. Uh, here, here, be, okay, be uh, the amazing gamer you are while I look this up. Alright, well, uh, what you gotta do here is you gotta climb up this this anchor one, because if you didn't if you didn't notice, there is a dolphin that is being pinned by this fucking anchor! What? What is that? I can't believe that shit! Here's free health in case you're, you need it. Given that it's Rusty Bucket Bay, you probably do. More notes in here. Any luck? <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, my mistake. It was released here in the States. But Let's I, see. But I didn't even know that there was a novelization. I didn't hear it from the game itself, which I think would have been important. Well, I heard, I heard that, it from somebody playing. I was like, that's oh, yeah. the issue, he's, though. He's like, oh, yeah, there's a novelization. Like, there's a novelization? Why? You, you, what you, kind of novelization could there be? You shouldn't have to read in order to get the entire story of your video game. Cross medium, but like. Uh, it should be its own separate entity. Cross medium projects just don't work. Remember, remember, like, I think they tried a couple times. They tried to have, like, a video game tie in with some sci fi TV show. Oh, uh. Defiance. Uh, uh, yeah. Defiance. That went absolutely nowhere. <laughs> that didn't go a single goddamn place. Oh, I remember seeing commercials for it when I worked at GameStop. It was so bad. Oh, what were some other ones? Okay. I'll give. Sega this the mu the multimedia deal for Sonic Boom even though the games were kind of garbo or actual garbo the TV show was actually legit good well that's that's the different multimedia experience that I'm talking about cuz you know you d you don't need to play the game to watch the show oh, you don't okay. need to watch the show to play the game no but having to read a novel in order to understand the story of your game that's, yeah, that's no, bad stuff no no don't do that no do not do that Bad idea. Terrible idea. It's like, here's everything you need to know in a separate thing you need to go and buy now. Oh, really? I need to pay, uh, what was that, fourteen ninety nine in order to understand your trash game? Sounds great. Well, I already paid 60 bucks for this, you know, baby's first platformer. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, I'd be an idiot if I didn't go get it right now. This stuff probably hurts. Most likely. I mean, it says danger. It's glowing green. I don't think- oh. ah! Okay, there, science. It hurts. You know, for science. Yeah. Uh-huh. We need to put the bear in the acid to see if- ah! We need to see if it actually works. Repeat your experiment to see if the results are, are, are good. You have any outlying- mm -hmm. Confirm your data. Uh, it's the last step of the scientific uh, process that people don't, uh, don't really follow. What, you, repeating the experiment? That's the thing they don't try? Yeah. Snacker! Snacker's here! <laughs> I can't breathe! Help me! <laughs> oh! <laughs> he dissolves in oil. Oh no! Oh, I understand how this came to be. This is Rusty Bucket BP. Ah. Oh. Look at all the oil. Rusty British Petroleum. Yes. <laughs> Oh dear. Get in there. Yeah. Is that th dated? Is that a dated reference? What, BP? Yeah. I, I, there's still BP. I went to a BP this morning, so I don't think oh, so. Okay. See, see, I don't want there to be a scenario where some loser in the comments just says, Too soon, man. <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> what, for your pet dolphin that you left? What, too soon, and then it was an event that happened in your lifetime, therefore you remember it, therefore too soon? Bro, too soon. <laughs> I mean, do you remember when you were a superpower gamer? <laughs> too soon, man. Too soon, soon. Hush, hush, I do I. <laughs> <laughs> Holy All God, right. where did that come from? One. And two. two. How many flybys is going to take before I get this fucking comb? Uh, three. Yeah, that's a three. No, I don't know about the R button flying yet. Four. Four, come on! Five. Five. Give oh me a goddamn God. break. Grazing it. 
Yeah. Six. I'm gonna say eight. Ah! Seven. <laughs> Just get it already. All right, fine. S switch tactics. I'll try the like the, the the beak bomb thing. There you go. You want to come at it straight away? Eight. Oh, ah! what? Are you kidding me? Give me a break. Graze the head feathers. There. Nine. See, for the rest of you scrubs out there, still taking 20 attempts Again. to get that. Again, pro this gamer. This dude right here, sunglasses pro on. Pro fucking gamer pro right gamer. here. Pro gamer, dude. I mean, he's probably going to get hit by Snacker on purpose. And, you know, it's just going to be one of his tactics. Because the rest of you aren't on his level. I mean, I've already 100% of this game. Have you guys? No. Uh, no. So, just... Oh, no. Uh, oh, you have? Well, I have too. Here's how I'm doing it. <laughs> God, for the... Go, go, hurry, hurry! Don't drown! I will drown on the surface if I'm not careful! Oh. <sighs> ah. Pro gamer moment uh -huh. right there. You gotta keep the audience in suspense. Yeah, for every douchebag out there who actually thinks they are a hashtag pro gamer, Son, I can beat you by mashing buttons in your favorite fighting game. You ain't nothing. Mashing buttons? I could punch you in the face, and while you're holding <laughs> your face, I'll, I'll beat you. Hey, and that's why I don't play online games. We're gonna, we're gonna can't punch them in the face. <laughs> now that's a pro gamer tip if I've ever heard it. If you don't like your opponent, just punch him in the face. They can't hold their broken jaw and their controller. I mean, if they could, then they are truly the proiest of pro gamers. So using his feet. Oh my god. The prodigal son returns. I mean, if I punch you in the face while you're, we're playing games, you start using your feet to play the game, I, I think I'll concede defeat. And you're actually doing okay? <laughs> There's a That's a sign. Yeah. This is the chosen one, and I've just angered some sort of lesser deity. <laughs> you have chosen death, mortal. Yeah, I've been in here. And then he just destroys you in Soul Calibur. It's it's nut. <laughs> I don't think we've played each other in Soul Calibur. Now that I think about it, not not in not since four. Hmm. Off, you know, before even the channel started. Hmm. Aha. Might have to do a little bit of bringing back that mini versus series, but now we got another type of versus series. I've always wanted to do, like, a Soul Calibur retrospective, go through all the Soul Calibers, one through six. Oh, th uh, there's the code for the whistle, by the way. Three, one, two, one, one, one. Yep. Okay. But we already got it, so this is useless. What happens if you call that number? Probably nothing, because it's only six numbers. Well, okay, it's just think about the UK here. So, uh, still what is it? What is two, it? Still not enough numbers? Three, one, two, one, one, one. All right, let's listen. Code and try again. Okay, well, well, dude, I think it should be obvious why that didn't work. Because this is 1998, and there's no way that number would still be in service. Welcome to the rare helpline. Be weird if that was the rare helpline, though. Six random numbers just. You have found the secret rare helpline. <laughs> you get random game tips from Fulgore. Press Z, B, A, C down, C left, C right, then hold L and R, and press up, down, A, B, B, A, B, L, R, Z, R, R, A, C up, C down, B, B, A, and then start. You have now unlocked unlimited health. Holy crap, thanks Fulgore. You're my favorite fighting game, dude. <laughs> now we present you with this free copy of Killer Instinct for the Xbox One. Oh, God. Th 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 thanks. I Actually, I just recently picked that up, and I think we should play it. Really? I, I think we should play it. Really? <laughs> Not saying it's good. I'm just saying it's Killer Instinct. <laughs> I haven't played Killer Instinct since I was in grade school. Yeah, I don't think we should play it. It came with all the DLC, so it's got Rash. I don't know. The fighting toad. I, I, 
I, I hear this killer thing's rated M. Why is that? Are there like uh, are there probably the, blood? They're like fatalities and shit. Nah, most likely. Because I know there were fatalities in the original Killer Instinct too. Yeah. K Ki go for sixty four. I mean, well, one of them was looking at titties. I don't think you can get any more interesting than that. He probably could. I mean. Well, I mean, if we're actually going full M rated, I doubt Rare actually went that like crazy. I mean, uh, in terms of fatalities, are we talking like just ooh, or are they like Mortal Kombat 11 fatalities? I doubt they're able to do that. Like, I, like I'd like to think a, an exec from Microsoft is just taking a look at this final product and going, "Guys, right there." That's wow. the most difficult fucking really jiggy in the game, because we have to hit that switch up there in that office that we were in, uh -huh. and then there's a second fan switch that turns off the uh, the engines, and then we have to take some time. I think, I think it's like what 68 seconds. Oh my to god! To get out of the engine room, go to the back of the ship, go underwater, go through the propellers, and grab the jiggy. Jesus. Okay, so let's give it a try. Let, let's let's do it, strong man. All right, we're gonna hit that. We're gonna hit that, and then we're gonna see if we can't get the jiggy. But first, uh, I gotta grab this uh, one up. And mm -hmm. uh, there's one thing I want to try real quick. Cause it, Are you gonna uh, clip? So, well, oh no! Uh, you know what? We'll deal with it next time on Magic Kazooie. See you next week.